Let's go ahead and look at HTTP parameters. HTTP parameters are sometimes called query parameters or request parameters. It's a way for the client this time to pass additional information with an HTTP request. And you usually use them to um, pass in some filter parameter. So let's say, for instance, you might want like page one and size 10 to specify to the server that you want the first page of some response and then you want 10 items per page. So usually use them for filtering. I've seen them being used for like so many different reasons, but typically they're used for filtering the information that the server is going to send back to you. And they have a very similar format. So you're going to have a key and then the value, and it's going to look like this with the URL. So as you can see here, I have an API here and I'm trying to fetch some users, but I tell the server that I only want page two and I want that page to have 10 item inside of it, as you can see here. So those are HTTP query parameters or HTTP params. That's what Angular calls them, but they call it request parameters or query parameters. Now you have to understand, we don't need to use the HTTP params class that we get with Angular to set those parameters. We can just set them ourselves manually by doing some string manipulation with the actual HTTP request that we're sending and the URL. But since we already have this class, it makes it a little bit more convenient for you to do that. So I'm on the Angular website and here we have the HTTP params class and you can see it's very, very similar to the HTTP headers class. So you have a constructor and then you have a few functions that you can call. So we have get to get one specific parameter and then we have append, we have set, append all and delete, et cetera. So again, you can go down here and then, you know, look and see how to use those functions. But yet again, I'm going to show you how to use them. They're fairly simple, uh, both of them, both the HTTP headers and the HTTP parameters or the HTTP params. That's what Angular calls it. But let's go ahead in the code and let's see how we can set those.